simple. Most of us rode bikes as kids. Everybody feels like they kind of know how to bike, and, and that kind of leads into knowing how to design bicycle facilities. Um, and so oftentimes they're surprised at the different design aspects that that they need to learn. And so one of the things that we do in this training is we give them a little bit of taste of that. But you know, over the course of a 10 or 12 hour training, it's really difficult to teach people everything that they need to know. So we give them a little taste, uh, then we also give them some great resources like the Ashto Design Guides for Bicycle Facilities and Pedestrian Facilities, and, and let that be kind of their guide for years to come whenever they're designing those facilities. For the wheelchair portion, I, I try to find a portion that has sidewalk. I, I don't want it to be you know, the, the worst condition in town, but I try to pick something relatively downtown that with the business districts where people need to access the post office and the library and those sorts of issues. Um, but more often than not, what we encounter are sidewalk that's not ADA compliant. And, and one of the interesting things about using the wheelchair is that just about every stretch of sidewalk has plenty of challenges. I normally don't have to go out of my way to find challenges for that. And I usually have to go out of my way to find the section that we can use at all. And we have the on-bike, the on-wheelchair, and the you know, regular pedestrian section is because most of us kind of going about our, our daily activities or are driving just about everywhere. There are certainly a lot of people in our communities that depend upon the wheelchair, depend upon the bicycle, or depend upon their feet to access the grocery store, to access work, to access school. And oftentimes those are not the ideal places to walk or bike because of the way we've designed our communities over the past several decades. So just giving them that experience of them not getting to pick where they want to bike or walk, but me kind of saying, okay, you're here, make it to there. Um, and it gives them a much more realistic view of the built environment and the things that people are facing. So that perspective, I think, is one of the key takeaways from the training. Through what I've learned, I can help uh, create better uh, planning and uh, land use and regulation documents for the city of Warsaw for all that want to come and enjoy Warsaw or those that live here, no matter what their needs are.